Hey guys, I am back with another I Am Roses video and before I share my project, did want to let you guys know that the I Am Roses design team is going to host a summer 2011 blog hop on July 22nd. Mark your calendars. Um, down below in the description box, I will be providing a link to Arlene's blog post about the blog hop. Um, so 10 of the um, I Am Roses designers will be participating. Um, we will be incorporating some of the new flowers into our projects, so make sure you check that out. Also, there will be two hidden blog candies, and the way we'll be selecting the winner is by um, selecting two random comments in any one of the design team members' blogs. So it's going to be super fun. Again, check the link down below to Arlene's blog post about the blog hop, which is going to be July 22nd. So here's my project for today. Um, I'm not sure what to call it, but um, <laughs> let me share the flowers first. Um, today, um, and these are some flowers that Buna had sent me um, in my design team package. Um, these are the S10-15 small flowers. And of course, I'll, I always have the numbers down below in the description box. And I also have um, the numbers in my blog post about this project. Um, I have these ones, which I'm so in love with. I always have a new love, but these are the T1-151 Tiny Rosebuds. I love these. I wish I would have used this on my Siren project for the bouquet. Part of it is so cute. I love these. Um, and then the next flower I used was the T30-147. Super cute. Um, I raised some my open rosebuds. And then the next flower is this one, which is T25-152, White Puffy Semi-Open Rosebuds. So those are the four different flowers that I use for my project. And so what I did was um, I altered some clothes pins. So I'm, in, I'm participating in a couple of swaps this month, and I had participated in one a couple of months ago and I had painted some clothes pins and I stamped them um, and I sent that off to my partner but I didn't add any lace or any other embellishments I just painted the clothes pins um, and stamped on them um, so this time I wanted to actually do the whole shebang so I've made kind of two sets of these and um, this is just one way to package up some lace if you ever want to send it off to a friend or to a swap partner. So um, these are wooden clothespins from the dollar store. And all I did was um, I whitewashed them with paint. I used vintage white and I um, put a lot of water to dilute it. And then I also stamped on the wooden clothespins. And then I just decorated them all differently. So I kind of made two sets. I kind of made this red and black set and then I also made this like shabby colored set so I'll go over this set first so um, and I'll show you how I incorporated the flowers so of course when you have a swap partner you want to give them some lace and you want to package it up nicely so here's all the lace I selected I also wanted to share some I am roses with my swap partner and at first I was going to adhere the flowers down on top of the clothespin, but then I thought I would like them to use the flowers too. So I found kind of some creative ways to incorporate the I Am Roses flowers and not have it adhere down so my partner can um, use them for their projects if they want to. So here's this one, and I love the way these clothespins came out. And then I just randomly stamped some Paris type sentiments on them. And here's one of the I Am Roses flowers. And I just tucked the stems in. I didn't cut the stems. And I just tucked the stems in behind the lace. And you'll want to like put the flower where you want it and then wrap the lace around. And on all of them, I've added um, stick pins to hold the lace. And then I've added some burlap twine to hold that flower. And I think that looks super cute. And then here's this one. I love this one. 
how this came out too because I love these tiny rosebuds and I've just tucked them in there and it looks so super cute and your partner can of course use the lace and then also use the flowers because they're not glued down they can just remove them and then use them when they want um, same thing here I just love those tiny rosebuds and how it looked like peeking over the lace and I like the fact that um, uh, my partner can enjoy them on our project as well and here's these love these two I love these rosebuds a lot um, and then here's this one I actually use the s10 small flowers on this one and it's super cute and you can see the stems there and it's all tucked in and then your partner can use every single piece so I'm going to package this set together and so that's what it looks like I'm just gonna put it in a clear bag so I think that looks so cute and um, I hope they like all the flowers too and then that they can use them as well. And so I made this shabby she colored set and I love it and I totally don't even want to give it away but I will. But um, <laughs> it came out so cute and it was kind of, it's real, this is a fun project to do. Um, like if you want to give your friend a gift or whatever um, because it's kind of fun picking all the colors of lace that go together and then what flowers you want to put um, and you know everything else and then you can incorporate your stick pins in this project as well so here's that one and then I've used the Meyer Road um, crystal stick pins I love those and here's with the leaves and the flowers it looks so cute and then you can see all the random stamping that I did um, when I colored this I colored it vintage white and um, these, this one actually has accents of brown. Um, my light is diluting the color, um, but this clothespin is white and has accents of pink. Um, and um, the stamping here, I use cocoa brown memento ink for the random stamping. And then here's this one, and I actually pulled out with the fiber. Can you believe that? Um, and then wrapped it around. I just think it looks so cute and. Um, like I said before, I like how everything is usable. Those are the S10s. And then here's the last one here with the tiny rosebuds. I just think that looks gorgeous. And then there's some more fiber there that I've used. So um, it's just a fun project to do. And like I said, I'll probably stick these in those clear bags. Um, so there's my shabby chic set. And then here's my red and black um set there so there you go there's my project um again look for the link to the blog post and blog hop information um down below and then also i'll have um a blog post that has more detailed pictures with my project i'll see you guys later bye